What's up, everybody? Ben here. We got a new unit. And there's a cat down here crying. Okay, Queso. Okay, so, so I, uh, if you've been following my channel, you've seen that blue 2019 Razor XP4 Turbo S Velocity. Um, I recently traded it for this machine. Uh, funny story, I just finished building that machine, which again, if you've been watching my channel, you might have seen that. And I uh, just got my razor burn shirts made. And I was planning on having that uh, Turbo S for a season or so. And I, I, I knew my goal was to get into a, uh, was to get into a, uh, a Pro R four seater. I just wanted the new platform, but it was a, uh, Situation where I just wanted to finish that build and, and, and use it for at least a season. But uh, a, a guy that frequently goes to Little Sahara, Oklahoma, um, posted this one up for trade because it didn't fit in his trailer. And he kind of wanted to trade down to something shorter, like a uh, the last generation four-seater or a two-seat Pro-R or whatever. So I offered mine up. We, uh, we made a deal and met up and did the switch. So here it is. This is a 2023 Razor Pro R Ultimate four seater. Um, I like that it's all black, so I don't have to deal with color changing stuff like I did on the last car that, that was navy blue and red. Um, Kazo likes it. It does have a few aftermarket things. Uh, some of them are player's accessories like this trunk and the half windshield and stuff. Um, none of that stuff matters to me. It's all coming off. And uh, it does have these cool aftermarket 35s with some Jegs Mustang wheels. So those are kind of neat. Um, I'm already gonna, I've already talked to a friend of mine that's gonna trade those. He wants those. And um, the cage and the light bar, the cage has the, has the neat headliner on it and stuff, but all this is gonna go. Um, so, I just kind of wanted the, the machine and I liked that it was all black so I can start from scratch. But this is basically just gonna be built as a new version of the four seater I just got rid of. So it's gonna be all blue. Um, it's gonna have ABF cages or cage doors, accessories, roof, windshield, um, some seats, harnesses, uh, the ABF trunk, stuff like that'll be on it. These reflective graphics are pretty cool. I didn't know they were reflective until I saw it at night in Wanoka. So that's, that's pretty neat that they reflect. Uh, I've seen that on a few other builds and I've been trying to work that in on some of mine. Uh, the two Yamahas for my kids, the YXZs, Fire and Ice, both have some reflective graphics on them, but not much. So it doesn't really matter. All this is gonna go. So, um, so this is it. I'm gonna build it all blue. I think I'm gonna do more paint and less wrap like I did on that last car. The paint just looks so much better in the details. It's not necessarily easier, but you know, I don't know. It's kind of, it's just pros and cons on each one of them. This thing has some high clearance radius rods. Those are gonna go. And it has some other whips. I'm not sure what the brand is. Uh, he gave me a, a, a one set that was kind of bent and then he gave me a replacement set that was straight. Um, uh, it doesn't matter. It's going to go. I'm not going to use those things. And it has a street legal kit. So this is the first side-by-side -side I've had that has a horn. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So anyways, it's got a horn. Uh, none of that matters. It's all coming off. It's going to be all blue. It's going to be just for sand. Uh, I am actually going to brand this build a little bit for America's Oasis. So you'll see some, some uh, either decals or embroidery in the seats or something like that. We're trying to work in some of those uh, details, but um, this is it. I'll tell you, switching from the Turbo S four-seater to the Pro R four-seater, um, I mean, the only the thing I can really mention is just the size. The, 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 the Pro R is just massive. Uh, the two-seat Pro-R, you've heard me talk about how big it is, but this four-seat Pro-R, especially with these 35s on it, I mean, this thing is just a monster. It dwarfs pretty much every other vehicle I have except for my diesel pickups. 
Um, as you can see, my road cars here look tiny next to this thing. And then back here, my OBS Tahoe looks like a mini truck. I mean, I guess the perspective is hard to tell right now because of the distance, but, but still, it's taller, it's longer, it's wider than a full-size OBS Tahoe. And even back from this, this distance, you can see just how much bigger it is than any, any of the road cars. So, yeah, it's just, just, it's just kind of funny how big they are. But they're heavy. Uh, I did weigh this one as it sits right now with the aftermarket wheels and tires, a few accessories. Without me in it, it weighs 3,000 pounds. Um, so that's wet weight. I, I, I don't know, maybe half a tank of gas or something in it. Big tires and stuff. So um, I wasn't real particular about what was in it. So I, I think there's like a few random things in here. Well, not in there. But uh, so that's all. Just kind of an intro for this 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 uh this machine yeah there's some stuff in that bag there's uh there's some stuff in these other compartments oh yeah it has a subwoofer and an amp um i didn't necessarily care to have a stereo um i don't really like having stereos in my utvs because i don't really listen to music i kind of go ride to get away from that stuff because uh that's what i did for a living for 20 years and I'm just kind of sick of it and I want to go out there and ride and not have to worry about electronics and music and stereo stuff but whatever um it just so happens that I am a uh, a fan of uh of digital designs so this subwoofer that's in there is made by a company called digital designs it's dd and you might notice that I happen to have that as a preference because all of my other systems and all my other vehicles and and my other shop this the showroom everything everywhere i have is a bunch of digital design subwoofers so i'm just going to leave that in there it might be handy for you know if we got a bunch of people cruising and not necessarily riding hard in the dunes or whatever but when we park and stuff we might we might, we might listen to some tunes so i'm gonna just going to leave that alone so uh, otherwise here it is, uh, fresh start. Um, gonna finish working out the build details with Aaron at ABF in the next uh, week or two, I think, and then we'll try to take it to them and uh, get started on it. Um, similar to my red two-seat Razor Pro R, um, I'm basically just gonna have them build it. Uh, their, their doors, their cage, um, I think I'm gonna do different seats and harnesses in this one than I did in the uh, two-seater. Um, and uh, it's, it's just easier for me to have them do it all, um, especially because they have David um, with Specialized UTV doing all their electronics. So I just love um, him and his attention to detail on the wiring. So he's gonna do all the lighting and stuff. It'll be the same as my others. So um, Baja Designs Light Bar, side mirrors, um, things like that, some quick light whips. But uh, this is it. Uh, maybe in a few months we'll be talking about uh, the mods that have been on it. But for now, this is the way it looks, the way I got it. And uh, it's not necessarily stock, but it's pretty close to stock. And um, I'll start a playlist for the changes that this thing has. If you'd like to see more content on this build as it progresses or any of my other vehicles, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel and um, keep watching. Thanks.